It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show and I look forward to these moments where I can say welcome back to another installment of the Culinary Hotline Blink! Ding, ding, ding! <clears throat> Excuse me. Public holiday. Right, I have to, it is the extra, you know what I'm saying? So we are joined by one of my, in fact, probably my favorite chef. It's obviously Chef Clem, then it's Ruben Ruffle. I need to say that out loud and to you right now so that there's a witness. So if you have any questions for Chef Clem, the number one, then uh, you can just send through those. All you have to do is, call, I mean it, call us on 021-110-5552 and we will answer that question. And today, I've got a question off the bat, my friend. Off the bat. I'm ready for it. Okay. It's around biscuits. Are you ready to scut your biscuit? Let's start there. When last did you scut your biscuit? I'm not talking about when you wake up in the morning and you stretch and your leg just hits like, I mean, properly. Properly scut. Do you, you realize I work in radio? Yes. So there are opportunities, especially with Zoe. Yes. Where I scut my biscuit proper. Wow. In fact, it's not even a, it's so hard that it's actually more of a rusk. That's, that's how you scut it. You it's important. You scut your rusk. So, Veronica wow. Isaacs, it's a Facebook uh, yes. comment that came through. Hello, Clem. What? Why does my biscuits come out hard and not soft? You have to add that at the end. Talk to me. Veronica. That's it's it. It's about the flour. Yes. To fat ratio. All right, I've got to stop doing this. Well, I, I feel like it worked. Anyway, but it you does, continue. Actually. Flour it does. to fat ratio. Now, how okay. does this? So the thing is, the ratio. It's like a, it's like it's like science. Honestly, yeah. baking is like science. Not everybody gets it right. Yeah. So please, can, give us the step by step layman way to do this. Mm -hmm. It's also sorry, I left out. It's also about the sugar. Okay. Right. So the more flour you end up adding to a biscuit, the more snap the harder biscuit you're gonna get. All right. The more fat and the sh more sugar you add, add to your biscuit, you're gonna get a more softer, chewy biscuit. Okay. So if you want a biscuit, like a chocolate chip biscuit, yes. okay, for instance, we sometimes like those chewier ones. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're gonna reduce the amount of flour, add extra fat, which we normally go for butter. Yeah. And play around the sugars. Don't just use white sugar, use brown sugar, light brown sugar, and a bit of white. So get a bit of flavor, you get that soft chewiness. Okay. Play around with it. Just make sure when you do look for a recipe, type in there chewy okay. biscuit, not short biscuit. So it's ratios. It's ratios, but it's life. Okay, it is indeed, balance. Balance. You know, a little bit of this, you're gonna get a result like that, a little bit of that, it's, it happens. And this, uh, this all looks very, very cool, but I love it. I love the fact that you answered that, and I hope that assists you. Uh, of course, if you just follow Chef Clem, I guarantee you that the guy will have some recipe there for you. I've got another one for you, mm. if you don't mind. I hope that answered your question, but over to Portia Lorica. Uh, this is also a Facebook comment, and it says, I'm looking for a really delicious biscuit recipe. Please, Chef Clem on this topic, I'm not a fan of choc chip recipes and cookies because I can't find uh, really nice choc chips, okay? Mm -hmm. So can I grate some normal chocolate into the biscuit batter? Let me know. Portia. You can absolutely use any chocolate that you want. Chunk it up how chunky you want it, how fine you want it, and just add it into the batter. Just if the recipe says, for instance, the original recipe says 100 grams, yes. try and keep it to that 100 grams, or you're gonna start having to adapt the other quantities of everything inside that biscuit. But I'm gonna help you with a biscuit. Okay, cool. Okay. Can, can, you, can I just ask you one little thing? Yes. What are your opinions on freezing the chocolate prior to putting it into the batter? You can totally do that. Okay. What's gonna happen then is it's not gonna melt as fast. You'll keep a bit of the chunk in the biscuit. Okay. If you don't want your biscuit to, your choc chips to kind of settle to the bottom of the biscuit, yes. dust your, your chocolate in flour. Oh, yes. It's a bit of friction, keeps it, helps it levitate within your biscuit. Do that. Or else what happens is it sinks to the bottom, chocolate melts at the bottom, yeah. you get a beautiful chocolate melted bottom, but you can't see any chocolate from the top. Okay. Yeah, it's... Oh, I love the fact that you added that though. So you're gonna help out, are you gonna yes. give us a little bit of a, a demo? We're gonna make cool. biscuit your biscuit. Biscuit. Oh my word. Can I just mention to you, right, if you're on any websites like expressoshow.com to get recipes as well, I just want to let you know, don't accept the cookies unless they're from Chef Clem. Don't, never accept the cookies. Just never. Letting you don't. Only from him. All right, I'm ready. Right, okay. Soften butter. Butter, how much? How, how much? It's about... If you want this recipe, check it out on Express. Oh, thank you. He, he doesn't... Uh, sorry, I curveball him there. I'm going to say it is... 327 grams. I'm gonna say 250. Perfect. I'm gonna say 250. 250? I'm gonna say 250. I like that. That's the chef claim, the instinct, the spider sense, but yeah. in the kitchen. I like it. 250. Right, so we're doing that. So okay. that's all beautiful. Is it room temperature, chef? I popped it in the microwave for like five seconds just right. to kind of, because it's cold outside. Yes, it is. So just to bring it to temperature a bit, get it to the microwave just to become a little softer. To help you also with the creaming of the sugar and the butter, I'm using icing sugar, not the Okay. Okay. Right, it's very fine. It's very fine. It's very, fine. Yes, it's fine. Really fine. Like you. Yes, I can't pay this man enough. 
Full compliments. I know, just although the last month's EFT bounced, but okay. Right, moving along. You are taking the icing sugar and you, you, you're doing the beautiful marriage between yes. the two. And now the fats are now interacting with that finer grain of the icing sugar. That's and there's exactly something right. happening. It's becoming crumbly. It's becoming it's, crumbly. Yes. Then you want to really make sure you get it in there. Okay. I'm how I can get you also like... No, no, no. I'm, I like watching. You, you good? I'm going to do... Good? I'm a narrator. You know, I can do... It's you like are. a rugby match. Chef Tim coming around the outside. Icing sugar going right in there. As well as some butter. Absolutely incredible. He's got Going for a round turn there. He comes through, flattens the spatula. He calls the flatula. That's what they call him, but not in the kitchen, only in other areas. Here he goes. He's coming around the outside, dropping in some vanilla essence. Oh my goodness, absolutely incredible. Vanilla essence going down. It could be a proper touchdown as it goes around in the kitchen. It's the culinary hotline. Bling, 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 bling. Here we go. Another spatula brought into play here. Something from the bench that he brought up. Well done to him. Thank you. Right, now we've got some flour here. Chef, we're going to pause right here for some commentary. Chef, what are you doing now? This is cake flour. You can use bread flour. I'm not going to be fussy about it. Okay. Um, get that in there. This is where you're going to bring your hands in or bring this guy in. Let's bring that one in because I feel like that's probably a bit more COVID compliant, you know, yes. given the circumstances. Agree. Agree. And our family meeting last night, so we might want to be as compliant as we can in all spheres. Safer. And Yes. So the crumble that you see there, is that supposed to happen, Chef? Yes. Okay. Yes. The cookie right. has to crumble first. Oh, that's indeed. <laughs> and then... That's the way it does. You want to gradually add this. Okay, so I need to fast forward. We're running out of time. So no, it's as fine. it comes together... Go, 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 go. You're gonna, I'm going to show you what starts happening. This is like it the looks, end of the rugby match coming up now. It's not. It's extra time. Oh, is Overtime. it extra time? Yeah. You're going to need that. It is... Um, okay, you're looking for coarse sand looking like crumbs. Oh, really? And you're thinking, is, it, is that right? Yeah, because it looks very dry to me. But then you pick it up. Okay. And you can see it actually comes together already. And uh, that's what you want. It has okay. to go to the fridge, though. Okay? And while it goes to the fridge, it's going to sit up. You're going to roll Beautiful. out your dough. Trying not to mess. But you know what? You know it doesn't work. Okay. You're going to roll out your dough. All right. I've got two heart shapes because... It's love. important. And also, you know, Father's Day is coming up. Love you, Daddy. Yeah, got you. Got you. Perfect. Right. Cut out with, with a bigger one first. Then, smaller one goes on the inside. Any shape you want. I've done these with circles. You can see I've got these little rings. Then what you're going to do is you're going to work with it when it's raw. Okay? Imagine these are still raw. All right. So, again, I've cut out these raw rings. I've taken some hard candies. Yes. And I'm just <gasps> kind of like popping that them That is cool. When you say hard candies, you're talking about the normal yeah. sparkly ones. Sparkly ones. Okay, cool. That's a good one. The sparkly ones. Yeah. Sparkly okay. ones. Then you're going to bake them. And it's going to actually form a window. Because you've got to keep the, the goodies inside so you can yes. put your biscuit. I've taken the Willie's Royal Icing Kit. Oh, just add beautiful. water. Okay. All I've got to do is then... All right, Chef, you've got 10 seconds to make. <laughs> no, but now the scissors will not. It's okay. you got this. And now are you doing some decorating? No, no, no. I'm going to actually sandwich everything together okay, now. Okay, beautiful. So now you're you are just making sure that the glue is down there. There we go. The sound, you see the flatulation was the Indeed, bad. that's the flatula I was talking about earlier. There, it came through. Well done. Okay. And... We've got some sprinkles here, Colony Job. Bring us sprinkles, the sprinkles. Sprinkles! sprinkles. I love sprin sprinkles. Here we go, here we go. Sprinkles. Just... Get the... Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. Put Sun. it down. More. Ah, ah. Sprinkles in the, in the middle there. There we yes. go. Now, get your biscuit. Get your, bus more There's sprinkles. your biscuit. There's your biscuit. There's your biscuit. There we go. Biscuit. Scutting. Right, grab one. I'm grabbing one too. This is perfect Father's Day. It's coming up. Recipe and Express show.com. You can hear... You made that. Be proud of yourself. And don't accept the cookies unless they're from Chef Klim. It's a culinary hotline bling. Mm, mm, mm.